Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. We are at Cure in New Orleans. My very good friend, Kirk Estopinol, ladies and gentlemen. Kirk, how are you? Very well. What's hanging happening? Hanging with Harris. You are hanging with Harris. <laughs> Esquire magazine, top 10 bars in the United States. You guys are crushing it. Tell me all about Cure. What's, I mean, look at this place. Well, What's I mean, uh, you know, we're a, we're a classic cocktail bar um, in New Orleans. We're built in an old firehouse. Uh, and we sort of focus on being a great bar without um, asking people to have a code of conduct or yeah. anything like that. Not we, too pretentious, Yeah, we right? try to you keep know. it real and be nice and fun, you know. What part of town are we in? Uh, it's, I mean, it's the Broadmoor neighborhood, but uh, people call it Uptown. You uptown. Know, it's fine. What are we going to do? I guess we're going to make a I'm going to make this drink uh, sort of like a nod to weird wine. Uh, okay. I think of like a matterized uh, wine. Uh, so it's just a mixture of four ingredients in equal parts. Do you want to check it out? or? I do want to check okay. it out. Yeah, so what I got here is just an ounce of uh, Chinar. Right. Uh, which is like this Amaro, uh, where yeah, they use Chinar, uh, for those Chinar. That, now what is yeah. Chinar? Chinar is an Amaro, it's like a digestif liqueur. Yeah. They use artichoke leaves in the final nice. maceration of making it. Nice. Uh, artichoke has a chemical they use in pharmaceuticals that blocks bitter flavors. Okay. Uh, so then it's an ounce of fresh uh, ruby red grapefruit that's strained. Uh, so we got the uh, Rittenhouse Rye 100, uh, nice. bartender's choice, you know, everyone loves this stuff. Love it. Every bar buys 20 cases when it hits the market. And I think you went through all 20 cases last <laughs> Uh, we may have, we may have. <laughs> and then uh, another, yeah, then another um, weird, like, uh, kind of quinine wine, uh, sure. sort of vermouthy. Oh, uh -huh. quinine is, uh, you know, it's the, uh, so it's in tonic water. It's uh, anti malarial. Don't go with tonic water again, because I listened to some tonic seminar yesterday for a half hour. <laughs> Listen to people brag about the viscosity of bubbles and tonic. But I'm like, really? Can I just drink some crap? Seriously? No, I mean, yeah, that, no, what, what would be the fun in that? All right, and then we'll just add a few. Uh, uh, pretty ice cubes yeah, here. Ice cubes are amazing. Uh, uh, and and really, this drink we don't want to really over stir it because it's not high alcohol. So it's not shaking. It's just no, a little... just just a little stirred together. I know it has juice, and I'm supposed to shake it, but it really doesn't do work. Anything. Yeah. I well, we I mean, it, it, way we want it yeah, it depends if you go and listen to people at Tales. Sure. Uh, they'll tell you there's a lot of things you have to do. Yeah, like maybe you're stirring that too fast. Right, right. The speed right. of your hand is not proper. That's, that's correct. Really? Okay, <laughs> so then we will strain it into this uh, glass. And uh, this glass works as our wine glass. That's why sure. I use it. Uh, I have, I've used it in a, like a stemless wine glass before. It just like kind of looks like wine. It's supposed to be understated. So there it is. Now, since it's got the whole digestif in it, would you mm -hmm. do this as an after dinner? Yeah, you uh, could, you know. Uh, but it still of... has a, it has a bit of citrus. So it's still aperitivi in, in its own right. You know, right. you could have one of these and then go have something to drink. I mean, something to eat for sure. It's, uh, it's not very strong alcoholic-wise, which is kind of nice. Kind of been leaning into that a lot here at Cure is uh, sort of like uh, cocktails that are you, you can have maybe four or five of them and not be like completely yeah, broken sure, or up. or 12, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> so we just so zest a little bit. There, yeah, yeah, and then the we'll just, right? yeah, grapefruit zest, that's it. And then we're just going to discard this. And there it is, understated. It looks like murky old wine. It does look like murky old wine, no. but I'm going to just drink it. That's <laughs> yeah, go, go for it. Yeah, right, so yeah. Let's check this out. So, yeah, it's funny. You really, before you even get to the drink, it's people, when you do this at home, if you don't know this, it's like just the oils from that grapefruit. It just hits your nose. Absolutely, right away. Before absolutely. I even, seriously, before you, it's, if you had like the smell o vision thing, you're like, oh, grapefruit. <laughs> so you get the citrus, you get the. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice balanced yeah. drink. I love it in the little glass. You could easily sit down for a meal too, like I was saying, as a digestif, but yeah. before you start, it's a great way to roll. Yeah, absolutely. It's a delicious cocktail. Kirk, thanks for hanging with Harris. We thanks, appreciate man. it when you're in New Orleans. Come to Cure in the Broadmoor, Uptown District. We like to say this it. place is rock and roll. <laughs> we'll see you real soon. <clears throat> Behind the stick. Behind the stick, yeah. The crushing it, the crushing it, the crushing it.